So today I'm going to show you how I make the most perfectly balanced meal for my cats. Um, both my cats have kidney disease, so they need um, meals low in carbs, moderately high in protein and high in fat, and they need low phosphorus, which can be found in bones. So usually I prep the organs and freeze them, and then for the rest of the day I just feel the muscle meat that I get. Uh, from my butcher, whatever waste they have that day, they just give it to me. Um, however, during vacation, when I take them to the cat theater, I like the meals to be fully prepped to make sure they get all the nutrients and they aren't overdosing or being deficient in anything. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I've got a wide range of meat and then I've got some eggs, some crickets, and then I got some supplements. <laughs> That's how much you think? So first I'm gonna make chicken bone broth. However, I don't wanna cook the meat because I wanna keep it raw so it's more nutritious. I just wanna cook the bones. So first I'm gonna start basically tearing apart that chicken so I only get a bit of the bones and not the meat. So the best would be to cook those bones on low temperature over the day. However, if you don't have time to do that and you can only cook them for four hours, you do want to add a spoon of vinegar, whichever vinegar you want, and that's gonna help leach out the nutrients from the bones into the broth. So once the chicken is cooked, I'm gonna start prepping the rest of the muscle meat. So here I have a beef steak, here I have veal, and here I have some pork. So I'm just going to chop it up and then finish chopping up my chicken. So if you can, um, you can always go to the butcher or the supermarket, get friendly with that guy and he can give you waste for free or he can give you quality human grade upcuts um, for a really cheap price. Do try not to buy meat, you know, you don't want to give money to that horrendous market. Um, if you can buy organic, grass-fed, free-range meats, it's a bit less cruel. But this time I bought meat because my butcher didn't have enough waste and offcuts um, so that I could meal prep for the whole week for my cats. And some supermarkets like Auchan in France um, do sell what they call pet food and it's actually human grade meat but it's just offcuts, you know, it doesn't look pretty. But at least you're not creating that demand for the meat market. And also, I always bring a Tupperware when I go to friends' houses or the restaurant and, you know, just pick up whatever's left from people's plates of meat. Um, it's a bit awkward at first, but then it kind of permits you to talk about why it's so important to feed a meat diet to carnivores, not a processed diet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh how much muscle meat I have um, simply because to make a recipe balance you need a certain quantity of muscle meat and the rest being organ, organ meat. So first off I need to see how much muscle meat I have. They usually give me way too much organs because I have so much spare at the butcher. I need about 5% of secreting, excreting organs. So I've got some organs from a rabbit that the butcher gave me. That's a heart. We can add it to the muscle meat. And I've got some kidneys. And I also have some chicken livers. So I will need about 20 grams of kidneys and 20 grams of chicken livers. And these are organs also from my chicken. The bowl. I don't want to waste anything. Oh. And then I always like to add about 5% of fatty fish. 
That's because it's a natural source of omega-3s. Usually I use mackerels or sardines. However, the, the, the fish merchant didn't have any this time. So I just bought the other small fish that he had. Finally, uh, this is an offcut from some pork and it's the fatty part. I also bought some crickets. Um, Crickets aren't the most nutritious, nutrient-dense food. However, you've, uh, you've probably seen your pet swallow some bugs and flies and stuff. I just want to get my cats used to the taste of all the food because these are really handy to take with you on a trip. Um, easier than some raw meat on a plane, for example. So in case I don't have anything to feed them, I refuse to give them any canned food, any processed pet food, any dry food. I'd rather they're used to crickets. So they're not very nutrition dense and they're kind of hard to digest, uh, the wings and the other part of the shell. So I only put a few and I grind them to make it easier for my cat. And I guess I'm just trying to be vegan and I'd rather kill a cricket that doesn't feel pain than a cow. <laughs> And then I do want to add egg yolk, especially since my cats have long hair, it's really nutritious. You absolutely need to cook the white from the egg, uh, otherwise it's not going to help with the absorption of nutrients. I only want to feed the yolk and I'm going to throw away the white or just give it to someone who eats egg whites. These are eggs um, from hens that were rescued from the egg industry and that will never be sent to the slaughterhouse. These are hens that are free range uh, fed organic food and who will die in a field after giving birth to like one egg a week. These are more expensive but I feel pretty I don't feel guilty feeding eggs to my cats anymore. If you can get your hands on them, uh, we have them in France. They're called Love qui ne tue pas la poule. I don't know where else you can get them, maybe in some other countries in Europe. This mixture can stay in the fridge for a day or two, uh, not long because I already broke the egg yolk. So what I do is I'm gonna freeze the rest and let it thaw overnight when I wanna feed it the next day. That's their portion for the morning. Uh, very, very important. I always add supplements. So here you have some krill oil, very high in omega-3s. More omega-3s, we love omega-3s. And here we have some lysine for the eyes, for teary eyes, portions needed. We have some multivitamins without phosphorus, with calcium otherwise if you have multivitamins without calcium you do want to add eggshells grinded bones but not for cats with skin disease or calcium phosphorus here is a mixture of chlorella for liver cleanse and spirulina for their teary eyes here we have curcuma with merida it's very good for inflammation and here we have some probiotics uh, human probiotics, don't buy the pet ones, they're, they're low in everything and they're overly expensive and do nothing. So my bone broth isn't done yet, it's only been 4 hours, I do want to leave it on for a few more hours. But I can already scoop out, you know, you can see the fat coming up and put it in my cat's food. At least for water content, if not more nutrition. And when it's done, I will just throw away the bones and keep the broth and put it in the fridge in the freezer. <laughs>